All right, let's get it. So this is gonna be a different type of video that I just want to put out there. Um, over time, I know I'm gonna be dropping build videos on how I would build these characters. Of course, you don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you wanna follow like the way I build my Lou or just like any other character that I go for, go ahead, you know, that's the whole point of the build videos, right? This is my own, this is just like stuff that I would rock, what works for me. And you know how I build it. Even though there's no diversity in the game, but at the same time, no, it's just it's just nice to not nice, but it's, but it's just cool to do these other things on different positions. You know, like we do got big man be able to shoot threes. We got point guards shooting deep threes. <laughs> like like I seen uh, point guards was well, like point guards or you know some of these characters that that don't dunk necessarily with freestyles and dunking on motherfuckers, you know what I mean? So, you know, however I decide to move forward with all these uh, characters and like have my official lineup, that's what I'm going for. So today, I just wanted to do a different type of video and just put out there the next characters after Lou, after Lou, after when I get Lou built up the way I want her built up, after I get the last uh, four plat cards that I wanted, then I will move, then I'm uh, essentially gonna move on to the next position and then, you know, just keep looping it. Just And after that's done, and continue on from that one. And then, th yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm not gonna break down how I'm gonna build these characters until I actually think of like how I want them to be. But this is what I'm gonna do. Starting with point guard. Um, You already may have seen it from my videos if you actually watched them. Uh, starting with point guard, where is she at? Uh, we got Ginger. I like, I, I just like the way Ginger is, right? Ginger is, like, I, I feel like anyone who's a Ginger user is more like that shut up and play defense, but you can play offense anytime you want, right? Passing off and boosting, um, your teammate until they get a shot off. Steals is fine. Speed and stamina is fine. She got the shooting stats. It's just too bad. She's not really consistent on it, which I am going to end up making that change, right? Because, you know, you got to be able to shoot at the end of the day. So that's for me with Ginger. So I'm going with Ginger on that end. Um, I already got sort of like the P buffs I want with certain characters uh, from each position, but you know, I'll see how it goes. Shooting guard, where is she at? Next character, woo! Next character I'm going with is Nadia. Uh, I just like the way Nadia is, 2.0 Jason, except she has better defense, her own version of blind defense. She can get a steal. Speed and stamina is all right. Nothing really crazy. Hard to really block her if you're like from point guard to small forward. But, you know, from small forward perspective, you should be able to block it. Like, to be honest, 50-50 at least. Um, it, it's just like the way I see her is the way I like, like just like, I'm probably going to build her the same way I built my loop, right? Difference is though, without the block resist, when it comes to fade away with Lou, because that's a little bit different, you know, mid-range game. But however I decide the builder is just gonna be crazy, so that's my lineup right there. Uh, you already know. Yep, Lou is that character. She's right there. Uh, not really tripping about it. You know, she's gonna, you know, <laughs> when I finish. Here's the thing: when I made, the, when I did an update on my P6 Lou build, because people were asking for it. Um. I, there is one card that I'm kind of getting sick of at this point, but I do like having a high mid range. I just got to get that fadeaway, the, the skill shot set up so I can be more consistent with it. Cause right now it's only at level two and I'd be wasting all my P on other stuff, but I know I got to get that up and you know, I can always switch it and just go like manual lip or something and then switch that plat card with something a bit better. But it's like that block defense resist. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Cause for me, Getting blocked from like Jack, me getting blocked from like Murdoch, Krista, you know what I'm saying? People who got power block, Jack's tipping block or finger block, whatever it's called. It gets annoying, right? And it's like, you know, you're not always going to be consistent with it. So you're better off just boosting your resist in some way, right? Like forget the shot resist, I mean, the, you know, the shot success resist. If you know you're most likely to get blocked from those type of characters. And again, it gets annoying. So, and, and people are mostly rocking Murdochs and 
Kristas and Jacks and all, you know what I'm saying? Like, within my matches, at least from what I've experienced. But, you know, just don't worry. I'm still building her up. Still gonna figure out how I would want to build her. And I actually do appreciate the, uh, from, from the last videos, people were telling me like certain things. I was like, you know, ah, I can see it but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one who spent like, you know, all this money to build her how I want to build her, right? And guess what? Chances are, yeah, you know, you're right. You are, um, it's probably more consistent to get this than any other, but you got these characters that can counter certain things. You know what I mean? So it's like, you have all this, but then watch your ass get blocked just from doing this. And then it's like, how, bro? Like, I'm like I'm a face shooter or, you know, like I'm automatically making these even as contested. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even if you built it like this, there's something that's always gonna counter it. So to keep that in mind. Uh, next character, where is she at? Where is she at? <laughs> where is she at? Is she not here? Nah, she's here. There we go. It's Faye. Uh, before I even moved, like, like go on to my official character that I wanted to be, Faye was, like, the secondary, right? Um, I just like the way she is in general. That's pretty much it. I just like the way she is, right? The dash into a dunk or into an alley-oop dunk while lobbing herself up into a dunk. You know what I'm saying? Um, Defensive-wise, that's something I'm probably going to fix. But the way, but the thing I like about Faye is it's more like you can go offense or defense with her. With these cards, and that's probably something I'm gonna do. I'm probably not going to mix it because I got her at P4 right now, and I'm able to make these threes not consistently, though. I could probably make like two threes in a row, but then that third three is like a 50 50, and that fourth three is like okay, it's not going in, and that fifth three is like okay, whatever, it's not going in. So that's how it is with me with Faye, right? So it's like however I'm deciding to build with her is how I'm gonna end up playing with her in the end. That's just me. Last character is Camilla. I'm P6 and Camilla. Without the shadow of a doubt, after I get done with Lou, after I get done with Ginger, then we're moving on to Nadia, then we're moving on to Faye. Once my, once the four characters that I'm using is all stacked up the way I want them built, Camilla is gonna be P6. I'm building Camilla a certain way. I already know how I want to build her, but I but I know RNG is there when it comes to getting these cards, right? So, oh, whoosh. and I have to learn how to like really be consistent being a big. Because here's the thing, though, I'm fine getting rebounds and chipping out as Lou, right? As being a small forward, but you know you're the big man. You're more reliable. So that's something I'm gonna have to learn in the end if if um. I'm gonna be having a center in my arsenal. But uh yeah, I just like the way she is. We're talking about who got quick jumper, her annoying layup that she does when standing in the paint, right? The automatic pass into a teammate. You know what I'm saying? If you got a Chloe, a Ayla, or a Kim on your team to do quick jumper, or a man to do quick jumper, you know what I'm saying? You got like those type of characters. Like things can be godly in a match. And it could get annoying. But um, that's about it. That's about it. This is all I wanted to show. This is all I wanted to say. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably like five minutes in or something like that. But yeah, this, this is going to be my lineup for 2023. After I build all these characters the way I want them built, it's going to uh, it's gonna be lit for me. I'm not, and here's the number too, I'm not necessarily going to care if I like win, lose it with them. As long as I just keep going and just to keep learning how to get better at it, right? Because I'm only somewhat mainly dominant on small forward i'm all right on point guard and you know i'm like okay at power forward right so it's like the other so like so, so like these other positions i gotta at least be good at at least i'm not trying to be fucking comp with them like like for real if i was gonna be comp or you know just be a sweat or something like that like how i be in these scrimmages with my crewmates um, it's gonna be small for it. I'm gonna be combat, but I still gotta build this kit. But I still gotta build Lou up the way I want her. I still gotta get Jack at P5 to get another P buff, and that'll be it. You know what I'm saying? Do the one more video for her, and then that'll be it. And then we'll move on to something else, and then do other stuff. So, yeah, this is it. This is my lineup. Um, actually, I am curious to know what other people's lineups are, right? I am curious to know. So, if you could leave it down in the comments. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.